Hi guys, welcome to Succulent Plant Care. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the five five types of Portulia caryophyra, the uh, dwarf jade or elephant bush. I also have another video follow, follow up uh, after this is uh, talking about different kinds of soil that you can use to propagate and which one is the best one, you know, to get the best uh, best root uh, from from your Portulia caria afra, okay? Uh, if you like to see that, uh, please subscribe so that when we come out with that, uh, you will be able to see, you know, which soil is the best for uh, Portulia caria afra. All right, so for now, let's start with the five kinds of Portulia caria afra. So this is the Portulia caria afra that everybody is familiar with. So it comes with a very nice dark green leaves if it's healthy, as you can see here small green leaves all right so that's the that's the original uh, portula car afra that most people know about so the the first one that i'm going to show you is the variegated one it's also the second most popular um portula car afra so this is the variegated one as you can see the two when you put them side by side you know this the leaf is, is slightly uh has a white white uh, size like variegated right so, so that's how it how it looks like so that's the second one the variegated one here's a close-up comparison of the leaves and then let's see the third one is what we call the mani or the rainbow so this is what it looks like so if you compare it side by side with the variegated it's slightly different So the rainbow one is slightly different. It's like it's not very white, but it's definitely lighter color than the original Portulia caria afra. So you can see the difference in leaves. Here's a close-up comparison of the leaves. So this one, if it's healthy, it can grow bigger than this one. So I don't have a, a big one yet. This is a brand kind of like a brand new in my collection. So we're gonna be planting this in a bigger pot and better soil so that we can see how big it can grow we do have a big uh, version of this one so i'll i'll definitely show you a, a picture of it so it should show up in the screen right now all right so that's how big it can grow it can be grow bigger than that but but for now this one is the third one that we have it's the rainbow one or it's called portulia cara afra mani so you can see it's slightly different all right so that next one that I'm going to show you is what we call the Portulia caria afra mammoth. So it really has a huge leaves compared to the original one. So you can see it's the shape is almost the same. You know, the stems have almost the same color too. So you can see there. It's almost the same color as the, the original, the popular one. But the leaves are huge. So you can see. Here's a close-up comparison of the leaves. You see this one is already a big Portulia cara afro one and then this one is a lot bigger so so they're they're a little thinner but i think you know this one is relatively new in our collection as well so so yeah so we're still you know uh learning how to uh to take care of this but they're pretty similar okay they're pretty similar so that's the fourth one and then of course the fifth or the fifth one is the what we call Portulia caria afra uh, minima or uh, lilliput. So this is kind of brand new. I think it was found to have been grown in California. I think in Vista, where somewhere in Vista, I forgot the name of the place in California. They they just propagated this, and then they I, I don't exactly know the details, but. It's really nice. It's re it has really small, small leaves compared to the original Portulia caryophyra. Here's a close-up comparison of the leaves. You can see how the difference is. This is already small, and if you compare it to this one, it's also pretty, you know, pretty small. So it's all this, all all the same. They behave the same way. So, so yeah. So I'll, I'll take very uh, high resolution image towards the end of the, uh, of the uh, video so that you can see all of them, all right, one by one. 
here's a close up comparison of the leaves. Right? Yeah, so that's the five Portulia Caria Afra. So our channel, we will have a section wherein we will be dedicating some of our time in terms of, um, you know, making all of this into bonsai. especially this one it already has a very small leaf system but but the the stem i have another one of this the stem is really barky which is looks really nice as a as a bonsai all right so yeah so that's uh that's our video if you like this video you know if you feel like uh, it's uh it's helpful to you please uh give us a like and you know make sure to subscribe so that when we come out with the uh, video that talks about which soil is best to propagate, you know, an elephant bush or a uh, Portulia Cara Afra, you know, you'll be able to see that. All right. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.